So what I'd like to do now is go through and do a little text formatting and working with text. The first page I'm going to work on is my cover page or my inside cover page. If I select Desert Dunes, because it is a placeholder, all of the text is selected. The same with this heading and the same with this text. It selects all of the text in the section. So going back, if I select Desert Dunes, I'm going to go over to the right hand side and select the format button. It tells me that this is the title on the paragraph settings. It tells me that I have five paragraph styles within this document to start off with. You can add as many as you want if you click on the plus sign and with ever, whatever settings that you want to use. So let's do this. With the desert dunes, I'm going to enter. Okay, talk to me. Okay, option I, I. Well, Option, go with that. Option, I, let go, I. There you go. All right. Okay. All right. And that is the title paragraph style. I'm going to select this paragraph style at the top. This is heading to, I'm going to enter Tropical Paradise. Now, I want to change the look of this style of this heading two. If I go over to the right of the UI, you see that it's heading two. I'm going to change this style from demi bold to medium. I want to change the point size to 19. And I'm also going to change a few other characteristics. If you look over, there is a little gear directly to the left of the color swatch. If I click that, it gives me more advanced options. In this case, I want to change the capitalization. The capitalization is going to be all caps. That automatically changes. And I'm going to change the character spacing from 0% to 8%. Make that 8. So it's giving it a different look already. And because you have something to start with, it's even better. All right, so now, and I'm looking for something to happen here that hasn't happened yet. Okay, there should be an update button that appears, but it is being a little finicky here. So what else do I need to change? I'm sorry? The asterisk behind heading two? No, there's a button that will pop up. That's, I'm wait, I'm, I want to see that button pop up, so it may want me to go somewhere else. So let's try this and see if I can get that. Sometimes you got to kick stuff in order to make it work. So let's see. Let's see if it will let me do it. I want, nope. All right, so at some point, there is always a challenge. One, two. I want you to be... 19. Ha, 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 ha. Right? You are right. You are right. And it doesn't want to show up. So at some point, it's going to show up. What will happen? A little up blue update button will appear directly to the right of the heading. And when I click it, it will update the settings for all of the, st uh, the styles used all of the text that uses this style. So I'm going to try something. I'm going to try copying that and seeing if I go here. And you know this never messes up at home, right? Never. Let's see if I do that. Nope, still, still stubborn. All right, we'll leave it be. I'll come back to it at some point. Hopefully it will behave. All right, so this is the first page. I'm going to go to the second page. This will be my acknowledgments page. All I'm going to do is just click. And because it is a word processing program, it automatically has like that invisible text box in there. It's just waiting for you to click your cursor before it starts to do anything. So I want to change this heading to 
from title to paragraph style of heading. And I am just going to type in acknowledgments. And let's, oh, whoa, not that, please, not that. And I'm going to center align the text. And I am going to leave that. And you see on the right hand side now where it says heading, you see where it now says update? This is what should have popped up when I was working on the other text, but it didn't. So let's, I'm going to leave that because I am. <laughs> let's do, let me do one more thing. I'm going to name this ACK page, Nodman's page heading. Okay, so now it's applied to there. All right, so the third page is going to be the table of contents. I'm going to come back to this much later because I want to have some other things set up before I tell the program to generate the table of contents, even though it will generate it on the fly and update it as I'm working. Okay. So I'm going to continue to edit this template. I'm going to go to page four. This is my heading. And I'm going to write industry. Uh-oh, that's not where I want it. Chapter one. Industry of AU. A. Option I. I. Option I. Industry of. Option, I, let go, I. That's how you get that special diacritic in there. All right. And for this heading, this will be beauty. beautiful. Beautiful countryside. And while I'm doing these headings, let me go to chapter two and do the same thing. And again, notice how when you click on it, it selects the entire placeholder text. This is going to be mountainscapes. Mountainscapes. And this is going to be B-R-E-A-T-H, breathtaking, scenic views. And this is what I'm going to do now. Since this does not want to adjust on its own, I'm going to go ahead and adjust it. All right. So this is going to be, this is going to be my new style, yeah. which is not what it's supposed to be. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I want you to update like you're supposed to. Is there, is there a way to make you update? No. All right. Nope, there isn't. All right. So that's going to be heading three. This is also... This is heading two. This is the one it's supposed to be. Okay. This is going to be heading three. Heading three. All right. There's always a challenge, but I'm up to it. All right. Okay. All right. Let's save this as I'm going. I'm going to save this to the desktop, and this is going to be MGD uh, KAU file. All right, and let's save it. Test files, we can leave it in test files. All right, all right, so now I'm gonna add text. I'm gonna start on.